We are up here today in Oswego. As you can see, there is Oswego Speedway. We are in the camping area down here, uh, just, to, just a little bit to the west of the racetrack. Things look pretty good here right now. There are one camper, there's one camper in here right now. There were a few more the other day. They are still working real hard up here. So in order to find out and let you guys know what's really going on up here, I've enlisted the help of somebody that you guys know pretty well. We're gonna get in the car here. Jason Simmons is with me now. He's kind of, he's wearing black, so it's kind of tough to see him uh, in this situation. But he is gonna take us around the property here and we're gonna see how things look. Here, give me a second, Jason, to get in here. Not a problem. Never got my knees done last year, so I hope we can do that this year. So, first of all, it was a lot of work on this camping area, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot of things, you know, this was still used uh, throughout the season at Oswego. A lot of people would come use these hookup sites here at the Black Lot, but um, there's a lot of, you know, grading and rolling and, you know, even weed eating and weed killer just from things getting over ran the last couple of years. You know, we didn't have dirt week last year, kind of certain things got neglected because the whole facility isn't needed for regular season at a swiggle like it is for dirt week. So, um, you know, we, me and my crew are been here every year doing roads and certain things. And we put the campgrounds in originally and, uh, now we're making more, some more spaces up here. Um, we're getting, you know, all oh, that's what's going on over here. days or so not too horribly bad the grounds aren't too wet I think we're gonna be in good shape as you can see they're still working on guest services right here in front of us yeah everybody's working around here staying busy for sure because I see gate six that's all up now Does that all happen today pretty much yeah a lot of this has you know, we got this little trim down to come down today um, so there's the speedway you can see where we're going here yeah I've had a crew of right guys. behind turn four we brought a lot more gravel and stuff in this year to Three top roads, we had a lot of washed out areas, a lot of ruts from classic weekend that we filled in and, and got situated. Um, but I uh, I feel the grounds are in really good shape as of right now. The geese are always here this time of year, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, because every one of these little roads here had to be regraded and everything, right? Yeah, there was a lot of just uh, washouts and over. Honestly, you couldn't even tell half the roads were here. There was really all the grass had grown, kind of the weeds right over the top of them. So we ended up redozing everything and adding a few more inches of gravel on top of it all. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we have to do to the back grandstand? Does that need to be cleaned and stuff like that? Yeah, also, we're crew in there right now. Um, a lot of the, you know, I think back grandstand stands were only used for classic. So there's the, they're trimming down a lot of the overgrown brush and, and, and inside of there. And um, oh yeah, they're doing that right now. Yeah. Somebody right behind there right now. Okay. And that's where all the concessions and the food truck trailers will be. There's the go-kart track over there. Didn't they just run there a couple, like last week or something, uh, I think? They were supposed to. They ended up canceling because of weather. So oh, okay. The season. Okay. This is where the pit area is because there's the back of the grandstand right there, the backstretch grandstand. And this is where all the haulers will be and the concrete pads. Were all those pads there or some of those new? Uh, most of these were here. We just added one on here. Okay. Um, we're taking all the low areas. We do have quite a bit of work to do. Over yeah, what's here. going on in there? Here, stop for a second, Jason. Yep. So this is this is uh, right back up to all those houses there. Are we? Because I know that was an area that got pretty wet yeah. if it rained, right? Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of big cobblestone in there and then uh, put some fabric down and then uh, put some gravel on. We're trying to get to the wet the wettest spots so we don't have as many people getting stuck this year. Yeah, there's the cobblestone right there. I'm gonna rack my focus so I can get that a little better for you. And uh, so that's what's going on there. So those of you who were back there last year, hopefully it'll be a little better uh, this time around. Because you know we're going to get rain. It's just what happens, right? Yeah. It's super know, it's, derby, unfortunately. It's been a really wet, <laughs> wet year, too. I mean, yeah, uh, the grass has been growing like crazy and never really burned up like it does in July, August. And, uh, you know, the grounds have handled it pretty well. Um, so that's all set. The souvenirs It seems like everything, everything works like clockwork around here now. Um, I remember the first year we were here, it was just kind of... No one knew what's what. The second year got a little better, but now, like, everybody comes in here in a matter of two or three weeks, it, it all gets done. I mean, a lot of fencing has gotten put up today. Um, so right there. We're, we're, yeah, yeah, the guys, everybody's been, you know, Jeff's done a good job with Brian organizing a good team around here, and John and his crew are on top of the track, and, uh, you know, everything is working like clockwork, so no concerns. I think, every, you know, we're, we're going to be done ahead of schedule. We just knocked out a big 
parking area for about 150 cars for the employees the dirt week right outside of gate six that's where i have my guys working today yeah we'll see that in just a moment here because that's we're coming up on gate six right now yep. city road city line city road line. city line i knew it was something like that i got yep. i got close so i get a half a point yep. for that see this is still being worked on here this building where you get your credentials yep so that will be done soon and this is mainly for uh dirt employees so they're not and for those of you who worked for dirt for a long time, that's Dave Dixon over there. Dave. Yep. He's always out here working away as well. Oh, so here's the parking lot they're working on right now for the employees. So there's the gate six entrance. Yep. And here's where that parking lot is. Well, it's yeah. coming along. Yeah, this won't be the entrance come uh, when we open up. It's going to be over. over oh, here a little farther. Up, okay. For right now, we'll just. Uh, this is more for get the gravel and the big dump trucks in there. I could watch these guys do this all day, too. Yeah. <laughs> one of these times, Jason, I think we're going to have some fun. I'm going to come up. You can show me how to run one of these. How's yeah, that? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can do that? Yeah, definitely. We all can right. Throw you in one, you go to town. Yeah. You can't, you can't, I like hurt, that. You can't hurt nothing with that. Something well, to drive into. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, as long as I don't get myself in a bad spot. So, yeah. all right, I guess we'll wrap it up from here then. So, it looks like things are going well up here. Any final thoughts, Jason? Yeah. I know you're trying to get more views than Jeff Hockman here. Yeah, so. no. Jeff's <laughs> a natural superstar. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, Dirt Week should be a good year. Hopefully, everybody gets out here and enjoys it. And it should be some good racing to wrap up the season. I'll check in with you again later in the week, Jason. Thank you very much, Thank sir, you, for taking me on the tour. And we're going to cut this off now as we're heading back, and I'm going to head back tonight. Again, this was just shot today, so you're seeing things as they look here Monday just before dinner time. Again, remember, hit the blue E, subscribe, share, support if you can. Keep us strong here as Super Dirt Week is right around the corner.